Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. Back with a video on software-defined radio. Uh, I would like to introduce another tool, which is known as SDR++. Uh, that tool is available in your Dragon OS Focal. The cool thing about Dragon X Focal is you don't have to worry about compiling these tools. So as you can clearly see, I have my Hack RF is connected, uh, both transmitting and receiving port. So I'm going to look at the functionality of my Adam Pluto SDR RX. Uh, the thing about uh, Adam Pluto SDR, the one that I have, I have a basic version which is Adam Pluto. There's another version that is out which is known as Adam Pluto Plus. Uh, this thing has a frequency range from 325 megahertz all the way up to, I believe, 3.8 gigahertz. So it's already connected to my uh, laptop. As you can see, this thing is blinking. Now I'm gonna. You can go to your source. And you can select different devices. It support different devices like Air, Air Spy, Air Spy HF Plus, Blade RF, Hack RF, Pluto SDR, Lime SDR, and and things like that. You have RTL SDR dongles. You have SDR Play dongles and things like that. Since I'm working with Pluto SDR, Pluto SDR is connected. I'm sorry. Uh, let me just connect to my Pluto SDR. Pluto SDR, I believe it supports uh, sample rate up to 20 megahertz. But I'm gonna just be uh, to be convenient with, I'm just going to choose a 8 mega samples. I'm going to leave the gain as manual um, so I can control this gain. And you can tune the frequency or whatever the frequency you want. So right now I am tuned to GSM frequency. Why? Because GSM signals are much stronger. Uh, so I'm just going to hit play. As soon as I hit play, uh, this is what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing about 8 mega sample, uh, 8 mega uh, the spectrum is about 8 megahertz, so all the way up from 938 to all the way up to 945 megahertz. Uh, you have a zoom feature where you can zoom in uh, right by just clicking here. You can zoom in and you can also have this. This actually provide like uh, your variable variability on your vertical axis, which is in terms of dB, which is showing the signal strength. And this actually takes this down, make it smaller, and things like that. These are the two things that you want to play around with. So right now, if I were to look at my noise floor, my noise floor is somewhere around negative 140 dB. And my actual signal is lying somewhere, the highest peak that is available, that is lying somewhere around negative 90 dB. So that's negative 90, 140, that's about 50 dB of, of my SNR uh, at 941 megahertz. So I kind of... When I start playing around with this, I kind of like this. Uh, it's like somewhere similar to GQRX. Uh, uh, so you can just tune into different frequencies by just moving around in terms of frequency and you can start seeing your spectrum. Uh, you can also play around with your variable gain. Uh, so this is your gain slider. You can play around with this. When you have your gain mode to be manual, you can just play around with this. Uh, you can also go here um, so I won't be able to like actually look at the voice FM uh, because the FM frequency is somewhere around 88 to 108 megahertz but this only supports up to uh, 325 all the way up to 3.8 gigahertz so that's why I won't be able to see you can just simply look at the spectrum if you want just like this or you can just play around with different options which are available uh, here at the site you can also record this signal as well you can visualize the signal as well. You can record it and play it some other time. Uh, let's tune in to, let's say, 2.4 gigahertz, so which is the band of your Wi-Fi. So here we go. So this is what I'm seeing at Wi-Fi frequencies at 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it's 13 centimeter hand band. Uh, and you can tune into a different frequencies. I can look at my... 1575, which is 1575, which is your uh, satellite signal, so GPS 42. Am I seeing anything over here? Not much going on. Uh, also, due to the antenna as well, because it comes with these two antennas, which are basically a monopole antennas. Uh, so that's it. Uh, so, so it's a cool software uh, that you can you can use to actually monitor your signal. That's the basic idea behind SDR, uh, SDR++. Uh, you can tune into different frequency bands at uh, different frequencies and check and see what's going on at different bands. I, I can also look at 800 uh, megahertz band as well. 
this is also your band which is for GSM and there's also a frequency which is allocated in this region uh, around 1841 that is for LTE I believe uh, so there's a lot of activity at 1855 megahertz that's, that's, that's your another band which is there for your uh, Wi-Fi uh, sorry for GSM band allocation so I hope you like this small tutorial on SDR++ along with your Edelm Pluto SDR if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching